Okay. Okay. You may like to introduce yourself to all of us. Uh, sir, my name is Murtaza Hussain. I was uh, born and raised in Pijogod, district Kherpur Mirasin. I am 25 years old and I got my primary education from my village and I did my intermediates from IBA Community College, Kherpur Miras. After that, I moved to Karachi for my bachelor's degree and completed my bachelor's in the field of electronic engineering from NAD University of Engineering Technology in 2019. And currently, I am pursuing my master's in electrical power engineering from Mehran University, Kherpur Miras. Sir, I have done internships uh, in Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, Kamra, Atak, and Power Plant, Jamshoro. Uh, besides my education, sir, I have been very much passionate about social work and social activism. In 2015, I joined Kingiri Youth Organization as a coordinator, which worked for the girls' education in my village, Pirjogot. In my university, I also joined some of the societies, such as SPEC Society and Centex Society, as a member and as a leader of Team Promotions, where, which worked for the promotion of science and technology in my university. Sir, uh, my hobbies and interests include singing and reading poetry. Uh, I have won various singing competitions in my school, college and university life. I love to sing classical songs including ghazals and uh, Sufi. And I love to read uh, classical poetry. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Over to Madam. Okay, thank you. Why nations fail? Do you agree with the author? This reasoning for why nations fail or do you think there is more to it? Yes, ma'am, I agree with the author because he has uh, taken a stance that if the nation has weak institutions, so the nations fail. We, we can take the example of Pakistan as well. As we don't have that much uh, good institutions such as economic and political institutions. And today we see that our economy is very weak and we are just going to the IMF for the bailouts. And we have seen the India, they have the good institution from the very beginning. So they are having the in the trillions of economy. And that is the reason of the institutions. You like classical music. Yes, ma'am. What is the difference between rag and ragni? Ma'am, rag has several types, which, uh, which are made up of the several notes, uh, sare gama padhani. And uh, ragini is uh, the difference is that rag is can be... Uh, Tottered and morning and ragini. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I have, <laughs> don't have the information about it. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> uh, you have worked with uh, Kamra. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there is a concept of developing an air city. Uh, what do you think uh, about air city? What do you know about air city? Ma'am, air city is the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, Kamra. Uh, where uh, there are the defense and man the defense manufacturer such as a JF-17 Thunder they have built. They have also built some of the uh, aircraft which are for the training also. I'm not asking about Kamra. I'm asking about the concept of developing an air city. Uh, sorry ma'am, I don't have information about it. No worry. Uh, physics you have studied. Yes ma'am. Can you tell me about God Particle? God Particle. Sorry, ma'am. I don't. Thank you so much. Uh, Durani Sam. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS Tehriri Imtihan ke tamam magameen ki online or on campus tayari ke saath saath subject selection, assignment checking, class test, mock exam, individual teacher discussion or feedback session ka inakaat kiya jayega iske alawa fpsc ki tajweez karda books se bane mayari notes aur csp's publisher ki behtareen books mohaiya ki jayengi register now at 0316-570-1593 thank you very much now since you were coming from the province of sin just introduce us with the province of Sindh. Sir, Sindh province is in the south uh, e uh, southeast of Pakistan. Uh, it has 30 districts. Uh, Sindh uh, River, Indus is the river which flows from uh, Sindh uh, province. Uh, it has three major cities, urban cities such as Karachi, Hyderabad and Sakha. Uh, most importantly, the third desert lies in Sindh, uh, which, is in which is in the two parts, uh, Nara Desert and Third Desert. Moreover, uh, currently the Chief Minister of Sindh is Sayyid uh, Murad Ali Shah and the 
Kamran Tisuri is the governor of Sindh and, and it's all about. And moreover, my district, Kherpur Miras, which has been uh, the uh, Talpur's dynasty as a princely state in, in when Pakistan became the, in, independent. So you have done your uh, master in renewable energy. Yes. Hmm? So okay. I'm doing that. First, tell us, tell me something about Tharkol, where Tharkol is. Now, what contribution Tharkol is making in the grid? So Tharkol is present uh, in the uh, third district. Uh, currently, there are three power plants, about 720 megawatt. And mo moreover, China is also working on the fourth one. Uh, number one is the refinery of Thar, refinery industry of Thar, and another is the project uh, of making the energy from that refi refined coal. Do you think that Thar coal can make a difference in the energy profile of the country? Sir, it can make a difference, but uh, the quality of Thar coal is not that much useful for the countries. But still, uh, it is making electricity, generating electricity. Sir, we are. You uh, said that we are functioning four years on ground. Sir, we are uh, mixing the coal, uh, imported coal and thar coal. The thar coal has the uh, peat and lignite type and uh, we are mixing it with the uh, bituminous coal. And what is the harm if we are using our indigenous resources? Because thar coal, all the power sector, they have been designed according to the available coal. It may be a middle range quality of coal, but everything has been designed accordingly. And they are producing 1200-1300 kilowatt of national grid. Ko de hmm? so what do you think? You live on the coastline. Your province is bordered by the coastline. Tell us about the wind energy as a source of energy in Pakistan. So, uh, wind energy, uh, and there is a plant uh, in the district of Badin and Thatta that's constructed by uh, CPEC, uh, under CPEC. It's about 400 uh, kilowatt and there are the four different uh, different uh, industries of that, uh, plants of that uh, uh, wind power plant and which are constructed under the CPEC. So what do you think, renewable, renewable energy, how can it make a difference in the economy of Pakistan? Sir, as the world is getting uh, changed from the fossil fuels to renewable energy, uh, we can have the many, much of the potential of… What is the percentage of uh, renewable, renewable energy in the… Sir, it's 4% product? according to uh, the recent… It is a 4%? Yes, sir. That includes solar? Solar and wind. Really? Now, you say that you are fond of the social work. Yes, sir. Tell us something about the social protection system available in the country. Kis tarah protect karas? Yes, sir. There is a, a social protection mechanism that's called Benazir Income Support Program, uh, under which there are several uh, beneficiaries. Uh, for example, uh, we saw the current, there are the 9 million people which are the beneficiaries of uh, this program. And we have seen many people out there living in sin. They have uh, been getting 14,000 in two months. Uh, moreover, there are other programs also uh, under the BIS program. Uh, no, there is a skill development program, there is a, a loan giving programs. Uh, these have different names. So they comes under under the edges of the BIS program. This is called a social protection. Social protection system in the country. So there are also a what? Kamyab Jawan program in the in the previous government. And moreover, there was there were soup kitchens. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you can uh, give us your self-analytical. You have listed this as your weakness. Why? Self-analytical is a positive thing, is a good thing. Sir, sometimes self-analytical analysis makes me in the go in depth and I start thinking about myself whether I'm right or wrong and so that is so that is your wrong wrong analysis about yourself but self analytical is in itself is uh, cannot be a weakness okay sir sorry for that no no you don't have to be uh, what do you know about the working of a district 
headed by deputy commissioner sir the deputy commissioner is uh, sharjeel channa saab and he is oh, about about the working of a district what do you know sir uh, district commissioner has many uh, job um, opportunities in the district such as he can see the health he can see the uh, government uh, beneficiaries uh, he can have the money collection and he can see the encroachment of roads and um, other railways and he can also serve people in the way that he can listen to their uh, um, things that they want to share with them and he is the employee of the go uh, governance he can connect the people with the government join csps where we believe that your dreams are our mission so let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge confidence and resilience required to emerge as css stoppers contact us on our given whatsapp number 0316570 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk how how do you see the role of our uh, bureaucratic machinery in the development of the country sir bureaucratic machinery is very much important for the development of the country because it is the uh, it is at the root uh, root level where it can be managing the people along with the government it can uh, have a good relations with the government and the people as there are the very development programs such as roads railways in, in, such as price containment programs so he can the uh, bureaucrat in the pakistan administrative services can see these things moreover we can see the police police is very much important for the um, for the governance ma machinery uh, because it can see the law and order situation enforcement mechanism and it can curtail the cr crime and how will you explain the recent surge of terrorism in our country sir the recent surge of terrorism uh, has uh, the germs in the uh, recent uh, rise of taliban in afghanistan as we have our uh, ter terrorist outfit like uh, ttp tariq e taliban pakistan uh, these are the hawkish against the government because they have three major uh, um, major things that they want to share with the government because uh, firstly firstly they have the objectives that they want sharia law to be imposed secondly they want uh, the reverse of the uh, 25th amendment uh, which is about the merger of kp and uh, uh, pata moreover they also want to release the prisoners of uh, the taliban so uh, government has uh, although the government has been ne negotiation and uh, negotiating with them but they're not understanding so they are do doing attacks in different areas we uh, saw the in attacks in peshawar and we saw the attacks in uh, islamabad and recently the attack on karachi police this is very much uh, heinous repercussion of that uh, uh, terrorism in surge in pakistan what what do you mean by doctrine of necessity so the doctrine of necessity is the uh, doctrine uh, which was uh, imposed by a pakistan government uh, in 1900 uh, 1940 uh, 54 and 55 as the first constitution assembly constitution assembly was uh, dissolved and the second constitution assembly was taken uh, given a chance so uh, the doctrine of necessity is something like when something necessary for the country the doctrine is applicable at that time the constitution uh, constitution assembly was resolved because it was not able to make the constitution uh, there was there were seven years to get the constitution assembly and that was the necessity of that country to establish a new constitution assembly and make the constitution why there is a uh, trust deficit between uh, police and and the people there is wide gap yes sir there is a wide gap between the people and the police uh, it is because of the re some reasons people think that the law enforcement agencies are not for them uh, not for the people but they are for uh, their own selves we have seen in karachi uh, karachi the people of very uh, lower grade such as 11 or 12 grade police officers they try to embezzle things Uh, such as they take money from people and, uh, get, and get so they are involved in the corruption as well and this is a reason that people don't have the trust on the police
as a DPO, what will you do to narrow the gap? Sir, first of all, I will be enhancing the training program of that lower staff because they are the they are um, going to see the people. They are going to have the have the connection with the people. So first of all, first of all, I'll go in order to train them. Then I'll try to reduce the gap between uh, them by introducing the te technology. If uh, there are the complaints of people, so they can uh, give us complaints through those technological equipment such as uh, mobile phones and and the uh, applications. How many forests are there in Pakistan? I can know some of the forests. Uh, there's a Changamanga forest in uh, near nearby Lahore, and there is a Hing, uh, Hingol forest. In, there is a Sin. In Sindh, there is also the forest in the western side of Sindh, uh, and the forest of uh, 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 forest near Islamabad is also there. I cannot recall the exact name of that forest. There are juniper forests in Pakistan. Sorry, sir, I don't have information about that. Give your career a boost with CSS PMS preparation from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on-campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markaz, Islamabad. Register now at 0316-570-1593. Thank you, sir. Mujza, I, uh, you read Renewable Energy Resources. Can you tell how fusion reactor works sir the fusion uh, reaction fusion, fusion is reactor fusion reactor yes. sir first of all uh, before going into the depth i should have the definition to tell you how fusion works then i'll tell you about the fusion reactor sure. uh, fusion is basically the uh, mixture of two different particles and it requires a lot of energy to mix them and that energy is required and then it the fusion reaction produces the energy also as we have seen uh, we can see the reaction at the sun and the and galaxies that's a fusion reaction so the reactor also work like that we need a lot of energy to fuel, uh, fuse different uranium metals material and then uh, we can uh, mix them and then it produces energy which is required for atom atom bomb or other mm. things. Do you think could it be the biggest renewable energy source to a country like Pakistan that is badly struck with energy shortage? Sir, it can be but it, it, is, produ it is produced by giving a lot of energy. Okay. So it, okay, uh, tell me what is dark energy or dark matter? Dark matter? Yes, dark energy and dark matter. Uh, yes, sir. So dark, uh, dark energy is something type of energy which is uh, present in the uh, uh, galaxy, uh, in the whole galaxy. Or, um, so only in the galaxy? No, sir. In the system, so in a solar system. Uh, and the dark matter is something we cannot see with the naked eye, or even the uh, scopes cannot see with the naked uh, naked eye. Is it like the God's particle as well? We can say like that. It's okay. a God's particle. Okay. Uh, uh, please tell me who presented. Heliocentric theory. Heliocentric theory. Sir, uh, Copernicus. And before Copernicus heliocentric theory, what was the existing, what was the model followed? Sir, Galileo's model was followed. Sir, he said that the earth revolves, I means the solar, solar system has one sun and, um, and the planets are orbiting around it. So, you sure? Yes, sir. That that's was why he was. Galileo's in, model? Uh, sorry, sir. I uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Truman Doctrine basically aimed to assist two very important countries in the Western Hemisphere. Can you name those countries? It was Cuba and Mexico. Truman Doctrine. Truman Doctrine. Yeah. So, Truman Doctrine was for uh, Turkey and Sir Turkey and Greece. Turkey and Greece. When. Uh, Vietnam War ended and who was responsible to make peace treaty between countries, warring countries, belligerent countries? Sir, Vietnam War was ended in 1970s. I don't recall the exact year. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there was a UN, United Nations. United Nations. Yes, sir. Okay, my last question. Who abrogated first constitution of Pakistan and in which year? So the first constitution of Pakistan uh, was abrogated by uh, General uh, 
the first president the second president as uh, the second president was ayub khan on sure. october the first ayub constitution first constitution of first constitution was abrogated by general ayub khan in october 19, uh, 1958 okay thank you चले ये लेट्स कंक्लूड इट खत्म करते हैं फॉर्मल इंटरव्यू अब इनफॉर्मल डिस्कशन करते हैं बताओ व्हाट इज योर सेल्फ असेसमेंट करो जरा क्या किया है तुमने अभी सर मैंने बहुत से जवाब ऐसे दिए हैं जो मुझे नहीं देने चाहिए थे मतलब इस हिसाब से पर कुछ मतलब मैंने दिए हैं मतलब देयर इज अ 50 50 इतना अच्छा भी नहीं इतना बुरा भी नहीं यू हैव क्वालिफाइड रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन अब 3 2 3 महीने हो गए मुझे तो नहीं लगता तुमने रिटर्न इंटरव्यू की तैयारी की है इंटरव्यू वन टू वन होता है तुम खुद ही कह रहे हो फिफ्टी फिफ्टी हो हमने तुम्हें बड़ी मुश्किल से जो असेसमेंट में देखे हैं अब तुम रूलर सेंस से हो थर कोल ये रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ये सारे सिंध के रिलेटेड है विंड है सोलर है वाटर वो, है तो ये जो है ना तुम्हें क्लियर होने चाहिए ओके ठीक है ना तो यू आर नॉट स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयरनेस में रही हो तुम तो मतलब यू आर क्वाइट माशा यू आर इंटेलिजेंट और पर्सनैलिटी ठीक है यू आर इंटेलिजेंट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल तुम्हारे बॉडी लैंग्वेज और ये सब ठीक है कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं है यू लूज कॉन्फिडेंस वेन देर इज नो नॉलेज ठीक है ना तो वो नॉलेज कहाँ से आएगा भी मेहनत करोगे तो आएगा तो यू हैव स्टिल गॉट टाइम तो लकी यू आर दैट यू आर विद यू हैव गॉट टाइम यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर ठीक है ना अब आप नॉलेज गेप हम सीरियसली फील कर रहे हैं अपनी नोटबुक बनाओ जिसमें तुम इंटरव्यू नोटबुक बनाओ जिसमें डेली कम अज कम सौ डेढ़ सौ टॉपिक पे हेडिंग लिखो समथिंग लाइक दैट एक पेज उस पर यहाँ हेडिंग लिखो वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट्स लिखो ये तुम्हारे नोट्स होंगे कि भाई रिन्यूबल बनर्जी के सवाल को पूछेगा तो मैं क्या जवाब दूंगा थर कोल के पूछेगा तो मैं क्या जवाब दूंगा ठीक है ना रूलर सिंध के अगर कोई सोशल इश्यूज आएंगे तो क्या जवाब देंगे ठीक है तो ये आपको करना चाहिए यू आर नॉट इन ए स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयरनेस मेरे हिसाब से ओके सर बल्कि हम सब के हिसाब से पुराने अखबार लो तीन महीने के अंग्रेजी का कोई डान या न्यूज उसकी नेशनल न्यूज इंटरनेशनल न्यूज डोमेस्टिक इशूज सोशल इशूज वो देखो क्लेम तुम करते हो एटी परसेंट तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू इसी में से आएगा हर चीज वेरीफाई होगी बीस परसेंट अखबार में से आएगा ठीक तो अगर अखबार को थोड़ी सी तैयारी कर लोगे तो देन यू विल बी बेटर ठीक है तो यू नीड टू वर्क हार्ड यू आर नॉट प्रिपेयर थैंक यू आप सब हाँ बिल्कुल आप यू आर नॉट प्रिपेयर और आपके जो है फोकस्ड रिप्लाईज नहीं है फोकस्ड होनी चाहिए रिप्लाईज आप वो राउंड अबाउट मैनर में आप जवाब देते हैं यानी जो क्रक्स है वो, वो उसको आप मिस करते हैं उसकी जो बाकी जो चीज़ें होती हैं उसके बारे में आप जवाब देते हैं अब ये डॉक्टर ऑफ नेसेसिटी का का जवाब जो दिया है वो आपने बिल्कुल गलत दिया है डॉक्टर ऑफ नेसेसिटी आपके आपके लिहाज से तो अच्छी चीज़ है जो आप कह रहे हैं कि जो ये कोई बड़ा बड़ी अच्छी बड़ा अच्छा हुआ पाकिस्तान के लिए नहीं जा जाके इसको दोबारा देखें और फिर इसको स्टडी करें वो जो डॉक्टर ऑफ नेसेसिटी का जो उसने डॉक्टर ने अप्लाई किया था उस फैसले में जो जस्टिस मुनीर ने उसको जाके देखें आप उसकी क्या बुनियाद बनाई थी उसने ठीक है उसी की वजह से फिर आप देखें हमारे मुल्क में सब्सिक्वेंटली गवर्नेंस में इसी किस्म की डॉक्टर ने स्ट्रेसिटी का अमल दखल रहा है और गवर्नेंस का सत्य नाश हो गया तो ये ये इसी तरह फिर ये आपने ये जो सर्ज इन टेररिज्म के बारे में भी आपका जवाब ठीक नहीं है करंट इश्यूज पर भी आपको आप तोज्जो दें ठीक तो करंट इश्यूज पर आपको तोज्जो दें और कोशिश करें इम्प्रूव करने की आप में पोटेंशियल है लेकिन आज की परफॉर्मेंस जैसे जो है सर बस ठीक है अच्छी इससे ज्यादा अच्छी होनी चाहिए ठीक है बाकी बाकी ठीक है थैंक यू सर और जो है आपने जो ऑप्शंस है ना इसमें विजिबल नॉलेज गैप है आपने आईआर पढ़ा हुआ 
जो फिजिक्स या जेंडर स्टडी से रिलेटेड एप्लीकेशन प्रोसीजर जा रही थी ना आप आर्टिकुलेटेड फॉर्म में जो आंसर्स नहीं कर पा रहे थे आपने आई आर पढ़ा आपने रियलिज्म को पढ़ा होगा ठीक है उसमें हॉब्स का एक बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है और वो बताता है कि कंपटीशन की बात करता है और उस कंपटीशन में ह्यूमन बींग्स की सेल्फ नेचर की बात करता है तो आपका ये जो कंपटीशन है ना ये भी वही वाला कंपटीशन है जो रूरल सिंह से जो आए हैं कैंडिडेट्स उनके साथ आपको कंपेयर करें तो आपको सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटनेस के असूल पे नहीं उतरते यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड इस मत में जो कैंडिडेट्स आए हैं इंटरव्यूज के लिए भी यहाँ पे रूरल सिंह से वो बहुत टफ कंपटीशन है ठीक तो सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट की थ्योरी पे फिट होना है तो फिट फिटेस्ट बने ठीक है आप उदानी साहब ने बताया कि वेज आउट कैसे अपना वो करें ठीक है थैंक यू ओके यार बेस्ट